Hey everyone, it's Robert from On My Turntable. Hope you're having a great evening this evening. Just got home from work and uh, was following a thread from um, Big Island um, and uh, just uh, subscribed to his channel. Uh, looks like a great channel. And he was doing a thread from um, Nova Records, uh, 10 Feel Good Records. So I thought I'd do that myself. Before I get into it, please hit the like and subscribe button below. Thank you to all that have liked and subscribed so far. I greatly appreciate it. I want to continue to put great content out there to be informative and to show you guys some great bands and artists that I have in my collection. Uh, these aren't in any particular order, but uh, after a day like today and after a week like it's been and after a few months of all this stuff going on, um, we all need music to listen to and great music to listen to to make you feel good. So. Um, start off with some Canadian content. I always love throwing these guys on and uh, just rocking out. It's a great, great album as well. It's back from Turner Overdrive 2, the second album obviously. Um, big hit off of this is Let It Ride and Taking Care of Business. Uh, I love Let It Ride. Just the, this, the intro of that song alone is, is amazing. Uh, it also has Blown, Welcome Home, Stone Gates, Give It Time, Tramp, and I don't want to have to hide. Um, but uh, taking care of business, uh, you know, I've heard it a thousand times. Uh, I don't know if I needed to hear it again, even though when I do, I, I enjoy it. But uh, uh, just their deep cuts and Let It Ride. I always love Let It Ride. And uh, Fred Turner's voice on Let It Ride is just amazing. But uh, yeah, start off with Back from Turner Overdrive 2. Um, right from the start, right from when I heard this album, uh, and from start to finish, it's just an amazing, amazing album. Uh, Fleetwood Mac, Rumors. What's not the love on this one? Uh, I mean, <laughs> you got secondhand news, dreams, uh, never going back again, don't stop, go your own way, songbird, beautiful songbird, the chain, the haunting melodies of the chain. Uh, you make love and fun. I don't want to know. Oh, Daddy! Again, another haunting song. And uh, Gold Dust Woman. Three major vocalists on this um, rhythm section is just to die for. Lindsay and Buckingham's guitar work is second to none. Uh, a very unique player. And um, yeah, awesome, awesome album. Uh, more Canadian content. Um, Reckless Brian Adams. Uh, it's also on uh, red vinyl as well, which kind of uh, appealed to me when I looked at the album. Um, One Night Love Affair, right off the bat. She's only happy when she's dancing. Run to You, another huge hit for him. Uh, Beautiful Heaven. Uh, somebody, and then another smash hit, Summer of 69, Kids Want to Rock, another cool tune, It's Only Love, Long Gone, and Ain't Gonna Cry, I'm sorry, Ain't Gonna Cry, um, just a feel-good kind of album. I've seen him uh, a couple of times, and uh, puts on an amazing show, so there you have it. What's not to feel good about this band? This is Discovery Electric Light Orchestra. Um, I shine a little love, confusion, need her love, the dire horse wimp. Just that song alone is, is cool. Last Train to London, another awesome song. Uh, Midnight Blue, On the Run, Wishing and Don't Bring Me Down. That's a an appropriate tune for this feed. Don't bring me down. Because a lot of people want to. Uh, I don't understand. With all the stuff going through, there's still that small element of people that want to bring you down. and Somehow you just have to rise above it and music is the way to do it. So, Discovery, ELO. Again, uh, another amazing, amazing album. Um, 
from start to finish. This is their debut album. Uh, this is Dire Straits. Uh, down on the waterline. It's just what a way to start an album. Water of Love, cool tune. Uh, setting me up. Six Blade Knife. Just his emphasis on, on his lyrics and his playing that goes along with those just again second to none. Southbound again, huge hit, Salt and Swing. I never tire of that song. Uh, in the gallery, Wild Wild West and Lions. This is a very uh, upbeat, cool album. Kind of put these guys on the map. Um, this is Live at Budokan, Cheap Trick. Again, first hearing this one, um, when it came out, it's just like, wow. Uh, yeah. Come on, come on. Uh, big eyes, need your love. Ain't that a shame. I want you to want me. Surrender. Uh, good night now. And clock strikes ten. This happens to be a promotional copy as well. I hope you can see that. But yeah. Definitely a feel good album. Definitely. So I go between this next album and their huge hit, um, Breakfast in America, um, as their best albums, even though I love In the Quietest Moments, and, um, yeah, Crime of the Century, Super Tramp, starts you off with The Haunting School, and then right into The Rock and Bloody Well Right, when, whenever I heard that Bloody Well Right song, when it first came out, it's just, who is, who are these guys, this is just remarkable. Then you go right into the soft hide in your shell and, and then asylum. Uh, definition of prog rock for sure. And then you get the, the lighthearted dreamer, uh, the amazing Rudy. Just brings you right into that story and just takes you away. Uh, if everyone was listening. And of course, Crime of the Century, which a uh, fitting way to end this album. Crisis What Crisis is always a, a great album. So between Crisis What Crisis, even in the quietest moments, um, Breakfast in America, and this one here, four major albums for these guys. Uh, picked this one up not too long ago. Um, Against the Wind, Bob Seger. I mean, you got the horizontal bop that started off. You'll accompany me. Her strut, cool to rock and tune. No man's land. Uh, long twin silver line. And then you've got against the wind. His amazing song that you never seem to tire of. Uh, good for me. Betty Lou's getting out tonight. Little rock and tune. Uh, the amazing fire lake and uh, shining brightly. Um, these next two, I guess kind of go hand in hand, maybe. So I don't know if I'll start off with, yeah, maybe I'll start off with the album, uh, the band album rather than this, the solo artist. Cosmos Factory, Creedence Clearwater Revival. Who doesn't like Creedence Clearwater? Ramble Tamble, an amazing song. Before You Accuse Me, Traveling Band, um, Ooby Dooby, Looking Out My Back Door, Run Through the Jungle, uh, Up Around the Bend, uh, My Baby Left Me, Who Will Stop the Rain, The Beautiful Who Will Stop the Rain, Heard It Through the Grapevine, and As Long As I Can See the Light. Never tire of this album. 
And from that, and number 10, I could have picked 100 Feel Good albums, but uh, and it didn't take me long to, to choose these. How about lead singer of Credence, John Fogarty? This is Centerfield. Cool little feel good album. You've got The Old Man Down the Road starting off the album. Rock and Roll Girls, Big Train from Memphis. I saw it on TV. Uh, Mr. Greed. Uh, Searchlight, big hit Centerfield. Um, I Can't Help Myself and uh, Vans Rant Vans. So there you have it. There's some 10 feel good albums. Sit back, put these on, forget about the day, and uh, sing along, enjoy. Yeah. So thank you for um, Dolan at uh, Noble Records, of course, and thank you to Blind Island uh, for uh, giving me the um, the idea to post this. Um, again, uh, ten feel good records. Uh, I look forward to seeing you guys, uh, your guys' uh, choices. Again, thank you for all your likes and subscribe uh, subscriptions. I greatly appreciate it, uh, and I'm trying to respond to all the comments out there. Thanks again. Have a wonderful night, and take care. Bye-bye.